Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lehman. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why I'm not in where I normally sit at, it's because this is a very, this is a two series video and I already knew I was going to have to split this video into two. So if you're wondering what this purple thing is here, this is actually one of my doll's skirts. So today is tattoo, how to tattoo your dolls, video one. As well as this, well, this is the discussion video. The next video is going to be on how to do it. And I'm going to show you guys the different types of tattoos that you can use. Now, but before I do that, I want to say good morning to everyone and on my channel. And it's good to see you guys. And I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. Uh, you guys do know that right now everybody's busy. Because Christmas is an interesting, this is an interesting Christmas one. Uh oh, sorry guys. Glass is going to fall. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that. So I'm just chilling out in the kitchen because I've got her set up so she can get her, so I can get this video done. And the first one is going to show you different types of tattoos. Now, rule number one for doing tattoos, please know what you're doing. If you are a child, get your parents' permission to do this before you mess up a doll that is a hundred and something dollars, or better yet, even that twenty dollar doll. Because you got parents who are like, I'm not trying to buy no twenty dollar doll. No, you're gonna mess it up. And don't go get your mom's stuff, <laughs> please. Ask your mom to buy you something cheap on AliExpress or Amazon or something like that. But I suggest Amazon. And uh, you should be able to you and buy it yourself. And guys, yes, you can put these stickers on you. So. Uh, so basically, I also want to let everyone know that I do have two dolls coming in. I may have three. I, I'm not sure yet. But right now, I have purchased two dolls, and I'm still waiting for the one from AliExpress. She's just saying, they're, they're basically saying that she's here in America, but she hasn't really been scanned in here in America. So, eh, you know what they say. Sometimes you're going to take time. But then, of course, I already know they're going to be late coming in anyway because of the time and uh because my mailman he don't run it around about eight o'clock at night sometimes he, some every now and then like saturday he actually popped up in here at 12 noon i was got well, i forgot what i went downstairs for i know i went down to check my mailbox and he was actually down there unfortunately i didn't get any packages and uh i've had a lot of things that happened in the last couple of months like um i do know that some of my aliexpress packages will never come in uh the doll shoes that i ordered not coming in some of my tattoos not coming in my doll eyes that i ordered definitely not coming in so i'm gonna have to reorder those somewhere else but right now <clears throat> i'm pretty much just getting ready to chill out and i decided to relax today because i'm kind of tired and i was going to go to the store but it looks like the weather is not going to permit that so I, I think what i'll do i'll wait till tomorrow afternoon when i get out of class and I'll see if I can either, either I'll get him to drop me off at Target or I'll just catch him on a bus and just ride around to Target. It really doesn't matter. I've already put my stuff on, on, on the thing. And, uh, if you guys are wondering why I have not, why I have not started on this new doll yet is because I don't have not one single brush, guys. All my brushes, I, my biggest, all my large brushes that I had literally broke. But then I got to remember, I've been had those brushes for almost five years. They don't last that long. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I haven't done anything with the doll. But she will be soon painted. I still haven't figured out if I want to change her skin tone. I don't think I will. I think I'll leave her like she is. But she will definitely have a tint of green in her skin. And plus the fact that I decided to change her wig. Because I didn't, I, I like that bright green wig, but I want another wig for her. Because I think she's prettier with a darker color wig on. So, yeah. Mm, so, I'm gonna, I'm waiting for a wig to come from Walmart. So, right now, last time I heard DHL had it. So, yeah. And then I have another three-foot doll coming, guys. And I'm hoping that it'll be here Wednesday. So, I will, uh, it's, it's definitely not gonna be here Tuesday. Because, number one, the thing ain't even scanned into FedEx. FedEx is supposed to be delivering it. It's coming from Florida, so we'll see what happens. I do know when she gets here, she's coming from Florida. She is definitely going to scrub down. And unfortunately, this girl has went through, I don't know, what do you call it, health? So, basically, yeah. So, today is a tutorial. And right now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go through the different things you will need in order to do these. Now, in order to, now someone asked me about how do I do my tattoos on my dog. There are several ways I do my tattoos. 
the first way and the best way I know for 100% sure that works is you draw it yourself. I usually don't care much for doing things other than that, but I do love drawing tattoos myself. Because when you draw them yourself, you can pretty much choose what type of tattoo you, you want to use. Now, the beauty about it is when it comes to that drawing, that drawing can be erased and start over. So when it comes down to it, the, I think that the best method for tattooing your dolls from a 3 foot all the way down to a 12 inch doll, of course, I can't do a 12 inch doll because when it comes to me drawing tiny, no. I usually like doing the big girls. So basically, when it comes down to it, drawing your own tattoos on your dolls is a good thing. And most of the time, I do do that, especially when it comes to facial tattoos. I prefer to do it myself. So that way, I don't have any problems. Now, there are, are, are other methods of doing tattoos. Now, if you, now I'm going to go by doll size for these tattoos. So for a smaller doll, like a maybe a little tiny doll, a little baby doll or something like that, a little teeny weeny doll or something like that, most people won't won't tattoo a baby doll like that. But if, sometimes you get these people who buy these, um, what do you call it, fantasy little dolls, maybe about this big. Maybe, I, I forgot the size of them. I think they're one-six scale dolls. And they are so small, they'll be, they'll be about this big. They won't be 12 inches. They'll be more like uh, 10 or 11 inches. 10 and I say 10 inches and down. So if you're going to do those dolls, the best type of tattoos, if you cannot draw that small, the best type of tattoos for you to use is these. These puppies. Guys, these are known as nail art stickers. They are perfect. And yes, you can use clear polish if you want to. And as you can see, these things are so cool. I'm sorry about the glare, guys, because the light is just knocking them out. But yeah. These are the stickers that you want to use. And they are just the right size. Now, they, they are great for tattoos for smaller dolls, like uh, Barbies, 12-inch Barbies or something like that. They make a great tattoo. Now, you can order these in different ways. You don't have to order. these. The, I think these are all flowers. And I think I ended up ordering, like, a whole bunch of glittery ones. But, yeah, I ended up getting glittery ones in there as well. And you can order them in two different ways. One of them is the clear back like those. And then one has paper on it where you actually have to submerge the tattoo into water. And then allow the tattoo to separate from the paper. And then you stick it on the doll skin. Same way you do with your nail. So the best way to do that is just to do it like it said on the instructions. But notice these tattoos can be switched out and they will fall off and you will have a lot to do when it comes to it. You have to make sure you be very careful with them. There is some, there is, you can do with an inkjet printer. I, I can't think of the name of the printer, what type of printer it is, but there's a certain printer that you can use. And basically it's a certain type of paper that you, you can use an inkjet printer that actually will do it too. And you can make your own tattoos and draw your own tattoos. Scatter them in your computer, make them smaller, and do what you have to do with them. But yeah, and then you can do images too. But when it comes to other people's images, I suggest you be very careful. Make sure these images, these images, some of these images that you get will be copyrighted. So you have to be very careful as to what you use. When it comes to drawing your own art on the doll, that is yours, and those are not copyrighted. Now, there is another type of tattoo I want you guys to see. And these are called stencil tattoos. I have used these before. In fact, I think I have I used one on one of my males. I'm sorry. I'm upside down. Now, these stencil tattoos are amazing, guys. They do work. Basically, they have an adhesive back. You can, and this, they are designed that want you, they, they, they're reusable, literally. Uh, you do, you can buy the stuff that goes with them, but I usually, what I do is I'll take the tattoo, lay it on the doll skin, make sure it's stuck down completely, and I will use black, uh, dust, black, uh, I forgot what you call that stuff, and I would spray the skin down too with some, uh, some, some, um, things, because you literally pretty much are drawing these tattoos. But these are pretty cool, and I absolutely love these tattoos. 
I do have larger ones. You can buy them all the way up to arm size, full human back size as well. They're designed for human skin, but they do work for your dolls as well. They're not as bad, but one of these days I might show you guys how to use these things. But they're the same way you do a stencil. You just dab it around. I suggest you not use paint to do this because once paint get underneath there, it will literally stop the tattoos from sticking. And it'll, instead of helping you, it'll peel it. So, yeah. Now, the other tattoos that I usually use are these. I'm going to show you what these look like. And these are temporary tattoos. Now, I order mine. If you guys are looking for these tattoos, you can buy them here in the U.S. off of eBay. Even Walmart sells them. But your problem with Walmart and eBay them, they sell these things for a pretty penny. Maybe like 9 and $10. Now, there is a catch to buying them off AliExpress and from China. It's a most likely you will not get them. And if they're not giant, a huge load of them, yeah, you might not get them. So, in this thing, I'm going to show you some of the tattoos. They come in like this size, and I absolutely love these guys. These are my, some of my favorites. Now, notice when it comes to these tattoos, a 12-inch doll, these would be the size. These, a tattoo like this size would fit a 12-inch doll's back. But they gotta, but it will be too large for them, you guys. Now, there are smaller size down in here, like these here. Now, these you can use on 12 inch dolls, like this one right here will be like a full back tattoo, and these right here will just be like an arm tattoo or something like that. But you can use these tattoos for your doll for your 12 inch dolls. Now, when you buy tattoos and you're looking for your tattoos for your dolls. There is one rule that I definitely go by. Before you purchase this tattoo, thinking that you want to, especially if you want a full back tattoo, there the rule number one is make sure you measure your doll. Like a three foot, like right now she's a three, this a three foot sitting next to me right now, and I'm going to put that tattoo on her back. If you do a three foot doll, do not buy a full arm or a full leg tattoo. That's going to be way too big. You literally have to cut that tattoo into four pieces in order to put it on that doll. If you're looking for a tattoo big enough to go on a full back tattoo for a 38-inch doll, the best thing is when you're looking at your tattoo, look at the picture. They do, they do show photos of these tattoos. You will look at the picture of the tattoos of what the tattoo looked like. Now, when it comes to buying these tattoos, they, I buy them because they're very intricate and they're very cute. And I absolutely love these guys. They're my favorite tattoos. Unfortunately, I didn't get all of my tattoos, I, but I did manage to get the one that I really, really wanted, which was these. And this is the one that's going on her back in, in the next video. So, guys, when it comes to purchasing these tattoos, make sure you measure your tattoos. And by measuring, what I mean is make sure the tattoo, a tattoo that will go on a three-foot doll's back will be a tattoo that will fit the upper arm of a human. The upper arm only. Anything larger than that, which is called a sleeve tattoo, will be too big. A full back tattoo will be enormous. That thing will literally cover this whole doll's leg. You got to remember, you got to measure her like she's a three-foot child. So I can promise you that will be too big. So the size of the tattoo must be upper arm. If you could go to the shoulder to just about before you get to the elbow, that is the perfect size tattoo to go for a full back three-foot doll. If you're looking for one that will go on a 17-inch or 18-inch, you want one about this size these are the sizes you want anything smaller than that now as for these here you can use them on a larger doll but these for a 12 foot doll these would make great tattoos for a 38 inch they will make great little like uh what do you call it uh beauty marks that's what they're used for if you're going to use for a large size doll 
Now, when you once you get to when it comes to your tattoos, once everything is done, when it comes to those tattoos, the two things, the two your two main things you're gonna need these Mod Podge, and I suggest you get the pure glue because you're gonna need it as well as this, which is gloss matte. It's Dura Clear Matte Varnish. You're gonna need a bottle of this, guys, whether you like it or not. Number one, the, before you, when, once you put the tattoo on the doll, you're going to have to put this on top of the tattoo. You need about two layers to protect the tattoo. Now, the beauty about this going down first is the fact that you can change the tattoo if you don't like the tattoo. Like, perhaps you damage the tattoo or something, and you decide, uh, -uh I don't want that tattoo, then you just peel it right off. But if you want to do it before then. Now, once you're done, once the tattoo is perfect like you want it, after this dries completely, let it dry for about two or three hours, then come back in, and you need to put about two layers of this on there. There's a reason why you put this on there, because even with this glue being a sealant, which Mod Podge is a sealant, guys, the problem with it is once you put it on the skin and once it dries, it has a tendency to become tacky. And that means that any clothes, anything touches it, will stick to it. Even dust. So if you take this and put it on your doll, when you do your tattoos after and let it dry for about two or three hours, you will be able to actually go back and touch that tattoo and you will get no tackiness in it. I do not use the spray sealant because the spray sealant does not work. This is your sealant that you need. It's because this is a pure, this is a, pla a liquid plastic, and it works just fine. Okay, guys, this is going to hit 17 minutes. I don't even know if this video is going to go up. I'm going to call it quits, and I'm going to come on with this next video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to put the tattoo on the doll. Until then, guys, peace. Love you. See you, see you in the next video.